We begin with Operation Crime and Justice and more examples of violent offenders being set free only to be arrested again. The latest examples include two men who Metro Police say are responsible for attacking four different women downtown. Well, both men have long criminal histories leading to cries for Metro leaders to do something about repeat offenders. Fox 17 News Kylie Walker joining us live outside 5th and Broadway, the site of one of those attacks. And what makes these cases even more terrifying than they already are is police say that these brutal attacks, they were completely random. These women were just trying to get from point A to point B and three of the four attacks, uh, those happen in broad daylight. Keep in mind some of these details may be triggering. 32 year old Jacob Harrison Thompson's behind bars facing aggravated kidnapping and attempted rape charges. This after Metro Police say he targeted two women just an hour apart on Sunday. Court documents show Thompson got inside a woman's car and tried to force her to perform a sex act. She eventually, though, got away. Officers say shortly after, Thompson went into a woman's bathroom at 5th and Broadway and beat a woman's head into the wall, trying to remove her clothes. This before people stepped in. But long term impact is is horrible for them. Um, it's just so senseless. Verna Wyatt with Tennessee Voices for Victims frustrated to learn that Thompson has a criminal history dating back to 2010. Women and everybody should feel safe in our city. They should feel safe to go to work, to go to Fifth and Broadway, to walk to their car. Um, and, and one incident is one too many. Metro Council member Jacob Coopin says he's actively working with the DA's office, MMPD, and the mayor's office to tackle this issue. As I recognize the challenges that we have, and we're going to continue working to keep everybody safe. Also on Coopin's radar, this month police say this man, Deontes Drew, brutally attacked two women in downtown Nashville. Police reports show the registered sex offender had just been released from a Hardeman County jail. And from what we've seen and what a lot of studies show is most rapists do not just rape once. They continue to do so. Lorraine McGuire with the Sexual Assault Center says she's horrified to hear of such violence. And tomorrow night from 5 to 7 here at 5th and Broadway is Nashville's Night Out Against Crime. This is where various agencies will gather to discuss issues surrounding crime. Also, if you are a sexual assault victim and in need of resources, we have more of this on Website fox17.com for now reporting live downtown. Kylie Walker, Fox 17 News, your code red station.